When you see a pretty flower, you are seeing the organ of the plant's sexual reproduction. The resulting offspring is genetically different from the parent plants. However, many plants are also able to reproduce asexually. In this case, the offspring is an exact genetic copy of the parent. Asexual reproduction results in an exact genetic copy of the parent because no sex cells or gametes are formed. Instead, reproduction results from simple division and differentiation of the parent plant cells. A common form of asexual reproduction is fragmentation. Fragmentation is a form of asexual reproduction without gametes, flowers, seeds, or fruits, in which a parent organism produces fragments that are capable of maturing independently. As the word implies, fragments of the parent organism split or break off. Each fragment can mature independently into a new organism to continue the reproductive cycle. Fragmentation occurs through mitosis and differentiation. Mitosis is the process in the cell cycle during which cells duplicate into two genetically identical daughter cells, or clones. Differentiation of the daughter cells allows the clonal plant to develop tissues such as roots, stems, and leaves. Scientists use this ability to produce duplicate plants for experiments via tissue culture. In many plants, for example, you can simply cut off a shoot from the plant. Plant the shoot and a new plant will grow. Gardeners take advantage of this property to quickly and cheaply create numerous individual clones of a particular plant. Fragmentation occurs naturally in many vascular plants including trees, shrubs, ferns, and others. Given this variety, it's no surprise that there are several different mechanisms of natural fragmentation. Like many plants, strawberries reproduce through the formation of rhizomes or stolons. These run along the surface of the soil, then form shoots that take root. The rhizomes and stolons grow out horizontally from the parent plant, increasing the overall diameter of the plant. Other plants, such as garlic, reproduce through specialized structures such as plantlets and bulbs. Throughout the course of the season, the parent bulb will produce a lateral bud from which a new stem will emerge as a genetically identical offspring. Fragmentation is important to commercial applications. Horticulturists use several types of artificial fragmentation to reproduce plants with desirable traits quickly and cheaply. Gardeners use division to separate parts of multi-stemmed perennial plants and plant the parts as individuals. Grafting is used when the gardener removes part of one plant and attaches it to a healthy established plant. Grafting is popular for propagating fruit trees because it can give a stronger rootstock. The useful qualities of both plants are combined to form a hybrid organism. Layering is an easy method of propagation. The gardener bends over the branch of a plant and pins the branch to the soil at a node. When roots develop, the branch is separated from the parent plant. Layering is commonly used to propagate grapevines. Fragmentation is an essential property of plants for agriculture because it can be used to rapidly propagate plants. Fragmentation allows plants to reproduce quickly to take advantage of ideal conditions. During times of environmental stress, fragmentation can allow reproduction when flowers are too energetically expensive or fragile. For example, because sexual reproduction requires water to facilitate fertilization of the egg by the sperm, fragmentation allows vegetative reproduction during a drought. A disadvantage of asexual reproduction generally, and hence fragmentation, is the lack of genetic variation among daughter organisms. For agriculture, this lack leads to susceptibility to diseases or environmental stress, resulting in risk of widespread destruction of crops. From an evolutionary standpoint, lack of genetic variation limits the potential of a population to adapt to the changing environment. So fragmentation is certainly advantageous to plants, but not always.